Hi, I'm Gareth Calvert, and about 5% of the population have hypodontia. Now you would think naturally missing teeth implants would be the obvious solution to replace them, but is that actually the case? So as dental professionals, we always want to deliver the Rolls Royce of treatment. But in hypodontia patients, what does that actually look like? So let's consider periodontal plastic surgery and resin-retained bridge work. This would be a contemporary twist on an otherwise well-established prosthodontic solution. Or there's space closure with composite buildups, and this is a very contemporary treatment and also has minimal implications for the long-term maintenance of that dentition. And then we've got difficult patients that need a multi-purpose solution to their treatment, which need to incorporate a number of different aspects of dentistry. So where does that leave us? Are all restorations suitable for hypodontia patients? Or are all hypodontia patients suitable for the treatments we have? What isn't well reported in the literature are patient reported outcome measures. So what do patients actually want?